Story time with Madam Delina. Hello, my radical readers. Madam Delina's delighted to see you today for another lovely story. How are you? I sure hope you're saying great. <laughs> New neighbors have moved into the apartment tower. The bunnies are super excited, but what will the others think of them? Let's find out in our story today called The New Neighbours. If you're ready to read with me, say yeah! Awesome, let's do it! High on the roof above the city, Mr Pigeon had the latest news. You've got rats in your flats, he burbled with glee. They moved in today on the ground floor. Rats, squealed the bunnies. Rats, 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 yippee! The bunnies were so excited that they bounced down the stairs to tell their big sister lettuce. Guess what? shouted Piper. We have rats in our flats. Lettuce said, hmm, rats? I've never lived with rats before. We should go and say hi. Let's see if Vern wants to come. All the bunnies hopped down the stairs. Hi, Vern, said Lettuce. Some rats have just moved in downstairs. Do you want to come and say hello? Rats, mused Vern. I don't think rats are very tidy neighbors. We need to make sure they keep the place clean Let's gather everyone in the building and figure out what to do. The rabbits and Vern hopped and trotted downstairs to talk to the pigs. Walter, Matilda, said Vern, we have rats in our flats. We need to make sure these rats know our rules about keeping this building spick and span. Rats, grunted Walter. Oh no! Matilda huffed. Heavens! Rats are messy and they smell bad too. This is awful news. I bet I know what the polar bears are going to say. Everyone hopped and trotted and tottered downstairs. Lars! Astrid! You're not going to like this, said Matilda. Smelly, messy rats just moved in downstairs. What? said Astrid. Rats are smelly and messy and they like to steal food. Lars looked worried. What will we eat if they steal all our food? We must tell the yaks this terrible news. Everyone hopped and trotted and tottered and padded downstairs. Noru, Pemba, we're in trouble, said Lars. Big trouble. Dirty, stinky, thieving rats are now living downstairs and I've heard that rats love to chew through walls. The whole building might fall down. Norbu and Pemba gasped in horror. <gasps> Pemba's voice trembled. We must do something. Everyone hopped and trotted and trotted and padded and clattered downstairs. Open the door, Granny Goat! This is an emergency, shouted Norbu. Rats! Big, dirty, smelly, thieving, dangerous rats have moved in downstairs and they're going to make the whole building collapse and bury us alive in rat poo! No! We must make them leave right now, Granny Goat shrieked. Everyone tumbled downstairs and fell at the bottom, all in one heap. They paused in front of the rat's door. No one wanted to be the first to knock. I'm not doing it. I'm scared. You do it. No, you. At last, Lettuce gave a timid tap, tap. Everyone held their breath. The door opened. A small, 
tidy, friendly looking rat smiled up at them. Hello, are you our new neighbours? she asked. Another small, tidy rat joined her. I'm Betram and this is Natasha. Will you join us for some homemade cake? We've just unpacked the dishes and we're planning to invite you over. Do come in. They bumbled inside. Everyone felt embarrassed, except the bunnies who were excited about cake. Why do you think they were embarrassed, boys and girls? Because they said such bad things about the rats and it actually was not true. How wonderful to have such thoughtful, welcoming new neighbors living here, said Natasha. Yes, said Bertram. We thought you might worry when you heard that rats had moved in. We know that rats aren't everyone's idea of the perfect neighbors. Oh no, gasped Lettuce through a mouthful of carrot cake. That thought never crossed our minds. All the animals nodded their heads and blushed because they were embarrassed. Can you see the look of embarrassment on their faces, boys and girls? After they snuffled up the last crumbs of cake, they hopped and trotted and totted and padded and clattered back upstairs. Thank you, thank you, thanks, thank you. Jake burped. <laughs> Rats make the best cake. I want to be a rat when I grow up. The end. Well, it turns out the rats weren't as terrible as everyone thought they would be. And that's the thing, boys and girls. We must not make judgments about people unless we know them properly. Always think the best of people unless they prove otherwise. Well, it's time for Nev and I to say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye for today. We'll see you next time. So hip, hip. Hooray! And say hi to your neighbors.